sides. Spurs wearing the brand new chain strip. Mauve and navy shirts, mauve and navy shorts. And there's Klinsman, Jurgen Klinsman, World Cup winner. Turning up for Spurs in that familiar 18 shirt he made his own for Germany. And the Spurs fans certainly making their voices heard at Hillsborough. So Spurs line up with Ian Walker in goal wearing 13, 22 David Kerslake, 14 Stuart Nethercott, 23 Sol Campbell, 3 Justin Edinburgh, 5 Colin Calderwood, 8 Eddie Dimitrescu, 7 Nick Barnby, 9 Darren Anderton, 10 Teddy Sheringham and 18 Jürgen Klinsmann. Kevin Pressman in goal for Wednesday wearing 13, Ian Taylor 4, Ian Nolan 3, Des Walker 17, Peter Atherton 2. Dan Petrescu 5, John Sheridan 11, Chris Bart Williams 14, Andy Sinton 15, Mark Bright 10 and David Hurst 9. The close up there you saw of Petrescu, the new Romanian signing for Wednesday. And Ian Nolan there, the Liverpudlian, one and a half million from Tranmere Rovers earlier on. And Mark Bright gets Sheffield Wednesday away at the opening day of the 94-95 season in the Carling Premiership, live from Hillsborough. Spurs away to Sheffield Wednesday. And straight away, Bright, but it's cut out by Nethercott. And from the penalty area, he hacks it forward. Ian Nolan, but here's Klinsman's first touch. Lazing it wide for Darren Anderton. Anderton gets it away for Wednesday as they come out. John Sheridan, the former Leeds man. Ian Nolan gets the cross forward, it's come off and Nethercott can clear. Puts it into touch, a throw into Sheffield Wednesday. And Andy Sinton's brought down a free kick for Sheffield Wednesday. Andy Sinton, the England international. Sheffield Wednesday brought from Queen's Park Rangers. Sinton's cross, no problem for Walker. Green and turquoise and purple and all colours that Ian Walker is wearing for his snazzy new kit. Sol Campbell, Walker can clear. As one would expect, the home side are pushing forward in these early minutes. The Klinsman lays it back for Barby. Barby's dispossessed. And Sinton chips it forward for Hurst. Bart Williams.
Well, the home crowd certainly behind their team, the Spurs fans behind theirs, as Ian Walker prepares this goal kick. Sheringham. Nethercotts nod it forward. Spurs are in possession now. So the new centre half pairing for Spurs, Nethercott and Sol Campbell, with Colin Caldwell sitting just in front. Looking for Sheringham, but it's cut out. Nethercott's back in possession. Dimitrescu picking it up from Edinburgh and again David Kerslake Anderson puts the cross over looking for Klinsman and Barbie just had the ball nicked away from him what's the referee given he seems to have blown up for something and Brian Hill's given the free kick for Wednesday. Good, good midfield work for Spurs. Kevin Pressman is left footed. And the foul given. Can't help thinking that. Uh, what can be the way that that cross came over Klinsman was already to lay the ball off either to Barnby or to Sheringham this is exciting stuff for Spurs exciting times it's Nolan gets the cross over pulls the Bart Williams and the good block tackle in Justin Edinburgh got the tackle in. Wednesday still have possession. Bart Williams again. And Sheringham. Dimitrescu wearing eight. Sol Campbell now. He finds Darren Anderson. Anderson hits it wide. No runner. It'll be a throw into Sheffield Wednesday. With Ian Nolan will take. Ian Nolan, uh, one and a half million pounds, the tribunal decided for his move from Tramia Rovers recently. <laughs> Nethercott, finding touch. Nethercott really made a name for himself toward the end of last season. So much so that the Spurs club captain Gary Mabbott finds himself on the bench at the start of this 94-95 season. Klinsman laying it off. Klinsman can pick up that sloppy return. As Jürgen Klinsman, he's moving forward, he's looking around him. Barbie is only able to put a slight touch on it and runs through to Kevin Pressman. But we've seen what this German can do. Hurst the judge to have lean on leaning on Justin Edinburgh it's a free kick to Spurs David Hurst who's uh, been out of action for much of last season with injury looking to uh, get himself back into the England squad no doubt Walker it's Ian, Ian Taylor Another new signing by Trevor Francis. Andy Sinton has a man outside him. He switches to his right, chips it forward, looking for Mark Bright. Campbell did brilliantly. And Dimitrescu. Some nice one-two stuff between Dimitrescu and Anderson. Anderson switches it now. Petrescu playing right back for Wednesday. Bright lays it wide to Sinton. Sinton's looking for his options. Chips it over. And Campbell again manages to dispossess 
Mark Williams and Brian Hill has given the indirect free kick arm raised in the air signifying it's indirect responding to a flag from his linesman which never got very much appreciated and applauds so Ian Walker in goal for Spurs today and should he keep his place he'll be facing his father's side Everton on Wednesday night at White Hart Lane Williams, the former Orient man, good tackle from Edinburgh, and there's an offside flag up there, as Petrescu was flagged offside, the Spurs come away, Dimitrescu, beat one, beat two, looks up, chips it wide to Shedding, who's free, into Anderton, Anderton knocks it back, Dimitrescu again, another chip forward and, oh, Barnby ever so close. So Nick Barnby, after nine and a half minutes, closest to uh, opening the scoring at Hillsborough this Saturday afternoon. Stuart Nethercott to Colin Calderwood. Anderson plays it forward at Atherton. He tries to play it forward, it comes off sharing, but it'll be a throw into Sheffield Wednesday. Atherton, another new signing by Trevor Francis, just joined from Coventry. It's Nick Barnby for Spurs. Looking for Klinsman, the ball's cut out. to have fouled as he went over the top with his head it has to be said Spurs looking particularly snazzy in this brand new chain strip Bart Williams and again first one's Bart Williams that runs through to Stuart Nethercott who can play it safely back to Ian Walker Ian Nethercott gaining confidence all the time as we see him. Dimitrescu, David Kerslake. <laughs> Justin Edinburgh. Barnby avoids one tackle, but ball nicked off him by John Sheridan. Pressman's forced to play it up quickly. Another cut underneath it, but Ian Taylor. Another cut chipping forward again, but once again it's it's cut out. Atherton. Sheridan. Looking for Mark Bright. Bart Williams. First chips it forward, but that will be Ian Walker's. He gathers it safely. <laughs> Twelve minutes gone at Hillsborough. Sheffield Wednesday nil, Spurs nil, but it's fair to say both managers will be very encouraged by the opening stages of this game for what they're seeing with their players. Colin Caldwell getting another chance off and missed most at the end of last season when Kevin Scott was bought. Seemed to replace him. The home crowd trying to give Klinsman the bird has little effect on the man. So Campbell has little difficulty in breaking down that Sheffield Wednesday attack. David Hurston, Justin Edinburgh in close attention. 
Tresu's throw in. Finds Bart Williams. Tresu again. Sheridan. Chips it forward for Bart Williams. Bart Williams turns, gets the crossover straight to Walker. No problem. David Hurst, who joined Wednesday in the uh, beginning of 80, season 86 87, 200,000 pounds from Barnsley, progressed through the England ranks from youth under 21 and the full squad. Colin Calder of the Spurs. Colin Anton wins the throw in for Spurs. First leg's throw in, looks for Klinsman. Anderson. It'll be Kurzlex again. Calderwood has time to find Nethercott. Dimitrescu, the Romanian. Here's Bart Williams now for Wednesday. David Hurst is stuck it by Dimitrescu. Three kicks been given under the new rules. Could this be a yellow card for? Billy Dimitrescu on his English debut. No, Brian Hill, a quiet word. Not that Dimitrescu understands any English at all. I think the referee's made his point. Petrescu. Looking for Taylor with Bart Williams. Sheridan would chip across, and that's a goal. Mark Bright, no, the referee's disallowed it for offside. And Mark Bright, who did so much damage to Spurs in both games, home and away last season, almost putting the home side ahead. But linesman and referee in accord, and a free kick's been given to Spurs. A goal attempt ruled out. I think at the moment that ball was played, I think it's fair to say Bright had gained the advantage and was ahead of his man. Referee and linesman working well together. Stuart Nethercott for Spurs. Sheridan lays it off. Possession has been lost. Wednesday racing down the left. It's gone too far. That will be a goal kick for Spurs. That was played back by Sinton, straight to Walker. Sol Campbell, who, having spent much of last season in the left-back position, in perhaps a more comfortable position of central defence. Dimitrescu finding Anderson wide on the right. Offside flag has gone up. Brian Hill, Market Harbour, pointing to where he wants the ball placed for this free kick for Sheffield Wednesday. Something is being carried off the field. I think it's a bird that uh, is stunned on the field. Peter Atherton's taken it to the touchline. And play continues. Nethercott, stout defending for Spurs. It's back with Ian Walker. Mark Bright was a judge to have fouled there, and the free kick's been given for Spurs. Sherian nodded on to Barnby. He has Anderson wide on the right. Anderson's cross, it's cut out by Sheridan. Calderwood playing it back to Nethercott. Bart Williams can bring it away for Sheffield Wednesday. Turning around it is Taylor. Dispossessed brilliantly by a sole Campbell.
free kick taken quickly for Spurs it's Darren Anderton two men in attendance but he gets the crossover he's looking for Sheringham and Sheringham's in the clear and it's Sheringham and it's there and Spurs have scored 18 minutes gone at Hillsborough Sheffield Wednesday nil Spurs 1 Teddy Sheringham opening his account as the Spurs players gather around him the first man to reach him was Klinsman subjected Kevin Pressman on your screens seeded again the cross came over it totally eluded the defenders Sheringham had time to even correct himself with the outside of his foot just inside the left hand post of Kevin Pressman and Spurs take the lead just a few seconds short of the 19th minute and Spurs fans and Spurs players are thinking we are in business From a Sheffield Wednesday point of view, they will be asking questions how that cross totally eluded the defender. It was Peter Atherton who uh, went for it and didn't connect basically, left Sheringham completely in the clear. Free kick for Sheffield Wednesday. Ian Taylor, with Bart Williams. The cross comes over. Sheridan could do a little more than get underneath it. The Irish international. Last season, Spurs failed to score at Hillsborough. You may remember it. It's the bank holiday, May, uh, Monday, the 3rd of January. And a crowd of 32,500 saw Mark Bright give Sheffield Wednesday a fifth minute lead, which indeed was the only goal of the game. Since him winning a free kick, Anderson the judge to have nudged him. Indirect says Brian Hill. And the former Brentford and Queen's Park Rangers man, Andy Sinton, an England international. Taylor's free kick, uh, Naylor's free kick, and Nolan's free kick. commentator's nightmare when uh, three new players join the team in one week Trevor Francis has spent uh, quite a bit of time at tribunals recently Ian Taylor, Ian Nolan and Peter Atherton all had their fees determined by tribunals Klinsman lays that off there's Barmby Barnby's got Sheridan with him. Kerslake chips it in. Anderson can reach it, but he still applauds the cross by David Kerslake. Ardiles must be delighted with the way in which his two new foreign signings, record signing Ili Dimitrescu, the most expensive signing in Spurs history of 2.6 million, why he and Jurgen Klinsmann have slotted in at this early stage, looking both comfortable to say the least. Five thousand travelling Spurs fans are in good vice and in good heart. Mark Williams for Wednesday, looking up, finding Hurst. Pulls to Sheridan. Sheridan has a poke. Again, Ian Walker is in the right place at the right time, comfortably gathered to his chest, and will slow it down. it back might be Colin Calderwood a 
just an error of both under a bit of pressure at Sheringham tries to return ball to Edinburgh it's cut out and Petrescu judged to have been fouled there's the free kick for Wednesday from uh, Sheffield Wednesday in a close season particularly Nigel Worthington and Carlton Palmer both went to Leeds manager Trevor Francis no longer considers himself a player manager therefore the number 26 number in the uh, Sheffield Wednesday squads is currently vacant he may have a change of heart knowing Trevor so Anderson tries to get across him blocked by Thursday could be a corner to Sheffield Wednesday the 24th minute at Hillsborough Sheffield Wednesday nil Tottenham Hotspur 1 Chris Bart Williams picks up the short corner it's back to Sinton Nolan again on his right foot gets the crossover straight to Ian Walker on the edge of his six yard area finding Dimitrescu Eddie Dimitrescu coming forward invades Clark Williams but he loses possession as Taylor can bring it away for Wednesday Hurst plays it back to Petrescu there's Walker picks out Andy Sinton he's got a man overlapping has to play it in but Kerslake has it covered with no difficulty whatsoever throws the ball into touch to concede the throw in Space cut out by his remaining teammate, but still with Spurs. Cherry and looking for Ant, and it's gone to Pressman who switches play. Romanian Petrescu, Chris Bart Williams. Petrescu again from Janar. They join. A very successful World Cup. There's Walker. There's another turn who hoists that field. And referee blows up on Stuart Nethercock for a foul on David Hurst. Match to the Spurs players discussed. Williams and Sheridan and Hurst all over the ball. Spurs have a four man wall. And runs to Justin Edinburgh, back with Bart Williams. Petrescu, the man on his outside, he brings it in on his left foot, plays it forward. It's again, presents no difficulty to Ian Walker growing in confidence and stature as the minutes took by at Hillsborough. Sheffield Wednesday, Neil Spurs won. 27 and a half minutes gone in this first half. Colin Calder for Spurs. Takes it back from Nick Barmby. And Dimitrescu fouled by Chris Bart Williams wins the free kick for Spurs. Anderson is back in it with David Kerslake. Anderson's run continues, takes it out to the right, to the right. And Atherton 
new man from Coventry, born in Wigan, puts it into touch. One second come away, Ian Taylor. And Nethercott's interception, with Spurs possession again, just with Justin Edinburgh who's brought down. Brought down by Dan Petrescu and caught him just above the knee. Well, we're told that uh, we were told that players can't be treated on the field, but both physios are on since and receiving treatment, as is Edinburgh. Uh, Tony Lennigan, the Spurs physio, comes off having attended to Justin Edinburgh. And Wednesday have a, a new physio from last season. Adam Smith nowadays the uh, number one physio for Terry Venables in the England setup. With Dave Butler as his uh, assistant. Here's Dimitrescu. Jim got plays it forward, looking to pick out Teddy Sheringham, it doesn't reach him, but Jürgen Klisman gets onto it. Sheringham, and a turn, and Darren Anderson, and it's there! Darren Anderson has made it two for Spurs! And on the half hour, Spurs get their second goal with Darren Anderson. And look at the Spurs fans behind that goal, you can see them on your screen. See it again, Anderton is through, evades the tackle, in fact it was from nothing, the free kick was taken quickly, an error once again in the Sheffield Wednesday defence, and Anderton is through for his first goal of the season, Spurs second of the season. Wednesday nil, Spurs two from Hillsborough, half hour gone. And a free kick. Feels like saying slow down. And a great excitement among the Spurs fans at Hillsborough. Colin Calderwood coming forward. Jürgen Klinsmann has gone deep. Finds Dimitrescu on the left. It's avoided to Petrescu. Shaken off Bart Williams. Dimitrescu still in possession. Picks out Darren Anderson. Anderson on the edge of the area. Kerslake on the overlap. Kerslake chips it in. It's cut out by Atherton. That will be a throw into Spurs. Spurs looking very exciting going forwards. Kerslake shimmies in. Gets the crossover. Looking for Sheringham. I think Sheringham was slightly nudged as he went for that. Petrescu, who played at Stoya Bucharest in Genoa and of course in the World Cup 1994 for Romania. Andy Sinton. Can you hear the Spurs fans singing, Are You Listening Arsenal? Calderwood could bring it out for Spurs. He has time, he has space, and he finds Eddie Dimitrescu on the left. And there's Walker. Gets the better of Nick Barnby, but loses his boot in the process. And Jürgen Klinsmann returns it to him. Dimitrescu gets the crossover. It's eluded Ian Nolan, Teddy Sheringham on the ball. Kerslake, Anderton, great movement for Spurs, Klinsman back heels it and it's still with Sheringham, 
and even though he loses it, David Kerslake picks it up, Darren Anderton, Spurs playing possession football that Spurs fans love over the decades. Spurs fans chanting Ole with every touch. So Campbell, Nethercott, Calderwood, Kerslake. When was the last time a Sheffield Wednesday man touched the ball? I reckon that's the 14th pass to Nick Barnby. It's back to Nethercott. And Spurs put it back to Walker, almost taking the mickey. But it's a slubby one from Walker, he's put it straight to Bright. The Spurs still managed to nick it back off Mark Bright. And Sol Campbell can hoof it upfield. Falls to Petrescu. Petrescu to Hurst. Hurst is cutting in, plays it wide out to Sinton. He's not able to keep possession. It will be a throw into Spurs, which David Kerslake will take. With almost 35 minutes on the clock. Anderson's dispossessed he was clipped wins the free kick Darren Anderson who recently celebrated his 22nd birthday England international we could say now but Bart Williams tries to move forward it's nicked away from him Campbell will play it back to Ian Walker Walker about to be pressured he looks Hooked up, found Klinsman. Sheffield Wednesday regained possession. The ball's back with goalkeeper Kevin Pressman. For so long lived in the uh, shadow of Martin Hodge and latterly Chris Woods, but made the goalkeeping position his own last season. Turned pro for Wednesday in 85, November of 85. There's Walker, finds Chris Bart Williams. And it's Dan Petrescu with Nick Barnby chasing back. Petrescu's cross comes over. That's Anderson who pulled the ball down. Sinton's clear. He doesn't collect it properly. He plays it back to Taylor. Taylor out wide. Is the danger and over? Not yet. Sinton again chips it forward. So Campbell can cut it out. Standing there, Calderwood almost caught Sol Campbell on the knee as he went for the ball. And that's going to touch a throw in for Wednesday, taken quickly by Chris Bart Williams. Finds John Sheridan, he's chipped it forward, looking for a man. And it's gone straight to Ian Walker, who will slow this down, telling his colleagues to calm it, yelling instructions. Sheffield Wednesday nil, Spurs 2, 36 and a half minutes played at Hillsborough. Eli Dimitrescu, Justin Edinburgh looking for Klinsman, it's gone too far and that'll be nodded back to Kevin Pressman by Ian Nolan. Finds his way back to Walker yeah, from Kerslake. Played forward, Sheringham nods it forward, was pushed in the process. That will be a free kick to Spurs. Brian Hill on the spot. It was, it was Atherton who uh, gave the little push. It's a couple of inches, uh, an inch or so shorter than Teddy Sheringham. Playing Calderwood. Looking for Dimitrescu, but that'll be a throw in to Wednesday. Which Chris Bart Williams will take. <laughs> David Hurst. It's a chance to put that behind for a goal kick. The home crowd didn't think it, but it was clear for all of us to see. That would be a goal kick for Spurs. So Spurs have two home games to come. This week, or this next week, Everton on Wednesday night, Manchester United, the Premiership champions, next Saturday. 
Spurs maintain possession though. Barnaby's dispossessed. And it's Andy Sinton. And Edinburgh prevents Bart Williams lashing onto that. But there's Walker in the fine. Stan Petrescu on the wide on the right. And Dimitrescu has Walker in front of him. His little shimmy is in the area. Walker forced to concede the corner and is Anderson coming over to take it or is it Eli Dimitrescu it is Eli a new man to take corners wide on the left wing for Spurs maybe plays it short to Anderson he has it back again and Nethercott who's brought down I can tell you that uh, Sheffield Wednesday fans have cards, large cards with 5.9 on aimed at an intimidating Klinsman. It was Nethercott who went down then. Mick Barnby gets the crossover, doesn't, because Atherton puts it behind for the corner. Barnby will take quickly. In fact, chooses to leave it to Darren Anderson. Barnby takes it flex to short corners back with Anderson Anderson finds Caldwood Caldwood looks up chips it over seeking out sharing it was too short but so Campbell's on the end of it and has a speculative shot from outside the area and it wasn't that far wide <laughs> 40 minutes played first half Hillsborough the first day of the new premiership season Sheffield Wednesday nil Spurs two as Kevin Preston takes the goal kick. Now the cuts under it. Sheringham loses bearings. Spurs have position again. Sheringham off his chest. It's picked up by Petrescu. Walker plays it forward. Sol Campbell has the legs of Mark Bright. And the 32-year-old didn't have as much to offer in terms of speed to the 20-year-old. And Sheringham. Klinsman makes a diagonal run in front of him. Adderton's gone to pick up Klinsman. As Kerslake comes forward. Calderwood. Sheringham was robbed there by Taylor. Sinton on his outside, Sinton makes the break. There's Hurst inside him, goes further. Calderwood's got a foot on that. It lands in Ian Walker's arms. Karen Anderson keeps it in. There's Walker, is forced to play it back to Pressman who slices it. But still finds Bart Williams who nodded on. Bright, Bart Williams has it back. It's now with Petrescu, and Walker, and Sheridan, and Taylor. Right to Ian Nolan. Nolan chips it across, looking for his man, Bart Williams, but Sol Campbell nods it away. And Dimitrescu can bring it out for Spurs. He's passed John Sheridan with no effort at all. And finds Teddy Sheringham wide on the right. Sheringham plays it inside Atherton, but there was no runner onto it. Not the best of crosses. Wednesday regained possession. Another cock gets his head underneath that. And it goes into touch. Two minutes to... Uh, Half time at Hillsborough. Sheffield Wednesday nil, Spurs two. Chris Bart Williams. 
Finds Sheridan who finds Sinton wide out to Ian Oden. It's actually it was David Hurst who slipped and Kerslake can bring the ball away. It's back with Wednesday as they try to push forward in this last minute or so of the first half. Petrescu looking for Hurst who gets his head on it. Ian Walker equal to it. It's a little difficulty to Walker in the Spurs goal. Ian Walker, 22 years of age, born in Watford. England under 21 international, of course. Nick Barnby battling in the midfield. Des Walker eludes Jurgen Klinsmann. And Chris Bart Williams. Played forward, there's nobody there for Wednesday. Who is there? Well behind the goal line, I should say. The goal kick taken quickly. Colin Caldwell. Finding David Kerslake for Spurs. Barnby's the runner, but uh, it's a bit too strong for Nick Barnby. It's played back by Wednesday to their goalkeeper. Pressman hoots it forward. Bright nods it from. Sheridan loses it and Spurs regain possession, put it into touch. And we're just about to go into injury time, time that Brian Hill will add on for stoppages. And there was a stoppage when both uh, physios were on a short while ago. Nolan's cross and Walker equal to it. Comes out between the defender and attacker. And you may catch that on your screens, that close-up where he points to his wrist, saying to referee, time. We are 30 seconds into stoppage time at the end of this first half. Jürgen Klinsmann underneath that. Sheridan tries to bring that away. Andy Sinton picks it up. He has Nolan on his outside. Feeds it to Mark Bright. Bright to Nolan. Bart Williams with Barnby close in attendance. Sheridan. David Kerslake rather than plays a long ball forward Bart Williams is on the end of it he's got space he gets a crossover Sol Campbell heads out away Bart Williams has another go play back from Nolan Bart Williams again pressure on him gathers the ball <laughs> and that is it the whistle goes half time at Hillsborough with all the Aldeas his Spurs going in two goals to the good Darren Anderson who scored the second on 30 minutes Teddy Sheringham who put Spurs in the lead on 19 minutes and an exciting and encouraging start to the new Premiership season for Spurs and Ozzy Ardiles half time at Hillsborough Sheffield Wednesday nil Tottenham Hotspur 2 and welcome back Welcome back to viewers at White's for coverage of the second half of this Carling Premiership opening day of the season where Spurs lead Sheffield Wednesday by two goals to nil. Just to let you know that if you've been unable to get a ticket for the big game at White Hart Lane next Saturday, Spurs versus Manchester United, you can see that game on the giant screens at White's Club. Tickets are priced at £13 
for non-members and £6.50 for junior non-members and that price is inclusive of a temporary match day ticket temporary match day membership so White's is the place to be if you haven't got a ticket for the home game against Manchester United next Saturday big smiles on the faces of Teddy Sheringham and Jurgen Klinsmann And Teddy, the Spurs captain today, calling for encouragement from his colleagues and the fans. And Brian Hill gets the second half underway at Hillsborough. The Spurs restart with a two-goal advantage over Sheffield Wednesday. Ball is played back to Kevin Pressman, we're in 13 in the goal for Wednesday. Stuart Nethercock wins it for Spurs, Darren Anderson, but John Sheridan nicks it away. Chris Bart Williams wide on the right. Ian Nolan on the ball for Sheffield Wednesday with Darren Anderson in front of him. It's played for Mark Price. It's back to Andy Sinton. Sinton on his right foot gets the crossover. Sol Campbell's under that. And John Sheridan loses it completely. And Ily Dumitrescu can bring that away. Ian Taylor's got a tackle in and came off worst. And it looks serious. And Brian Hill stopped them stop the play, he's holding his left knee it's Ian Taylor Eli Dimitrescu again caught on the ankle Tony Lennigan attending to him in spite of what we were told about players not being able to receive treatment on the pitch the physios doing their stuff Dimitrescu's up hobbles away a bit gingerly He's uh, given the nod that he'll be okay. It's Ian Taylor, the former Port Vale player, Birmingham born. <laughs> Cost Trevor Francis 1.3 million after a tribunal decided on the price. And a shake of the hands between Taylor and Dimitrescu, which is refreshing to see it'll be a drop ball and Teddy Sheringham is given the free reign just to give it back to to Wednesday and Atherton receives gives it back to Presman Presman's out of his area a long one looking for Hurst with Nethercock nods it forward and that'll be a throw in to the Owls Darren Anderson delighted to get on the score sheet this afternoon. And Nick Barnby. But he's lost it to Bart Williams. Bart Williams is being converged upon. Referees allowed play to go on. Sol Campbell. And this time the referee has blown up. And it's John Sheridan alleged to have committed the foul. Foul on Sheringham, whereas Dan Petrescu is at the bottom of all that and he hobbles away. So a ball can just played forward. Allerton gets underneath it for Wednesday. a certain determination about how Sheffield Wednesday started the second half understandably so Trevor Francis will not be pleased with his side's first half performance that just goes away for a goal kick it's fair to say I think that Sheffield Wednesday certainly looked dangerous down the left hand side in the first half it couldn't turn it to their advantage but at the back two defensive errors as Francis will see it is what cost his side the two goals from 
Sheringham after 19 minutes, Anderson after 30. Ozzy Ardiles minus his baseball cap today, as always on his feet, you know, just in front of the dugout. Colin Calderwood nods it forward. Once again, Petrescu can pick it up for Wednesday. Finds Mark Bright, Wednesday's top scorer of last season with 23 goals. Bart Williams, it's an early cross in, Ian Walker read it, it's ahead of Mark Bright. And that ball sneak, neatly stuck to those goalkeeping gloves. Klinsman was out leaped on that occasion, John Sheridan for Wednesday. Looking to his left, finds Sinton. Sinton has Kerslake in front of him. Kerslake trying to force it onto his left foot, his weaker foot. And indeed, the cross is behind the goal line. David Kerslake did really well there. We've seen throughout the first half that Sinton preferred to switch the ball to his right for crosses. Kerslake knew this and forced it onto Sinton's left. Which gave little danger to Spurs. Atherton manages to uh, prevent Clinton from getting to the ball, but Clinton wins the throw in, plays it quickly. Anderson no, no, no. plays it forward. No. It's out for Clinton, gets the cross over, it eludes all the defenders. There's Walker. And then Petrescu get the ball away. It's Chris Park Williams for Wednesday. Bright tries to turn, Nethercott, Nethercott gets a better, it runs to Sinton, Sinton's on the ball. Plays it, rolls it out to Nolan. Nolan finds Sinton again, Sinton on his left and again. Was that, did Walker push that over or had it already gone over? Walker says it had already gone over. Referee says otherwise. That ball was dipping it. Possibly would have hit the bar head there and Walker not come for it. And the corner's been given, which Chris Bart Williams will take. Takes it short. Back with Bart Williams onto his left. Just deep cross over. Nolan switches, turns inside Nethercott, slightly skews his goalward attempt. That'll be another goal kick for Spurs. Sheringham's underneath there, it runs off of him. Wednesday back in possession. With David Hurst with Nethercott inside in front of him. Hurst switches. Sharing gets to tackle him, but Hurst still has possession. And David Hurst will lose Nethercott, it's run too far. We have corner. In the 54th minute, Bart Williams from the left hand wing for Wednesday takes with his right foot. Campbell nods it forward. And that's it, it's there. And it's Dan Petrescu who scored on his debut for Sheffield Wednesday. Fifty-three and a half minutes on the clock. Petrescu, the new signing from Romanian football, for Trevor Francis has pulled one back. And there will be questions asked of the Spurs defence. We'll see it again now. So many Spurs defenders were there, were trying to come out to play the offside, and under the old rules, it could be argued that Mark Bright was in an offside position. 
they've been looking to get back into this game of Wednesday and maybe that will give them some heart that said it will surely make Spurs even more determined to maintain their advantage and perhaps increase it now they've got with Sinton in the middle of the park now switching it wide Petrescu again Dwight lays it back Spurs can clear it, it's gone into touch Wednesday fans starting to make better noise now. Nolan takes a quick free to throw it to Taylor. Nolan again. But Darren Anderson gets the tackle in. There'll be another throw. Nolan takes a long throw. Nethercott will have to get that away. She does. He runs to Taylor. Taylor's through. He slips over as Spurs can gather themselves and clear the ball which Darren Anderson puts it into touch and it's a throw in inside Sheffield Wednesday's half of the field quickly taken by Nolan long throw which Nethercott forces out pressure coming from Sheffield Wednesday Nolan's on throw again, Nethercott heads that clear, Sheridan wide to Nolan. Mark Bright heads it on but it runs to Spurs, Spurs flick out of the ball, it runs once again to Sheffield Wednesday. Sheridan wide on his right playing Des Walker in, Bart Williams. Petrescu inside the Spurs area, Walker again, Nethercott clears runs to Nolan, looks for Taylor, Taylor cleverly plays it to Sinton, gets across it, over, as Hurst goes in on that, so can it was, who beat Hurst to it, to put the ball away for a corner, past Ian Walker's right hand post, hands on hips in the Spurs defence, filling the lungs, corner Campbell nods it out Sheridan takes it from all of 40 yards and straight to Ian Walker slow it down somewhat Pins were unable to latch onto that one it's back with Wednesday Nolan with Colin Cordor picks the ball up as Anderson wide Anderson wins the throw in taken, will be taken by showing no, he's going to leave it and another throw in, one by Spurs Referees this season are going to be very hot on throw-ins being taken at the right place and could be argued that uh, Teddy Shearing tried to nick a yard or two. Anderton's got through. Is that a corner? It is a corner. It's been won by Darren Anderton off Ian Taylor. And enables Spurs to put a little bit of pressure on at the other end of the park now. 13 and a half minutes gone in the second half. Sheffield Wednesday 1, Spurs 2. As Darren Anderson gives the signal. Looking for Nethercott. It's run to Calderwood. Calderwood dinks it forward. Barnby looking for it. Nethercott nods it forward. It's Bart Williams who can not head it out to Petrescu. And Sol Campbell has dispossessed Dan Petrescu. And the referee says unfairly. Brian Hill. Gives a free kick to the Owls. Nice. Steve Perryman and Ozzy Ardiles exhorting Spurs on. 
It's been a scrappy second half so far for Spurs, one has to say. But Barbie chips it forward, looking for Klinsman. Atherton can hoof that out. Nodded on by Bright, finds Hurst, but the Spurs, but the ball is picked up by Spurs. It's just in Edinburgh. And another free kick awarded against Teddy Sheringham this time. charm around his right wrist Sheridan finds Ian Taylor David Hurst goes for the return as Taylor Justin Edinburgh's aware of it and covers it and play it out off of Teddy Sheringham's chest and it's Dimitrescu now for Spurs Finds Klinsman, it's gone wide to Kerslake. Dimitrescu's making a run to his wide right. It's played across looking. No, it's looking for Barbie who's running on, but it was uh, headed away by Petrescu for a corner for Spurs. It was a lovely sweeping move from Spurs, it has to be said. Exciting stuff to watch, the kind of football that Spurs fans have been brought up over the decades. Cross comes in from the Spurs left wing. Sheringham climbs for it, it's fallen to Dimitrescu. He's lost possession, it's spun away from him. Sheridan brings it out for Sheffield Wednesday. Andy Sinton. Andy Sinton tries to go outside the curve, and he pulls Kerslake down. That's got to be a foul. And it could well be a yellow card. A number of people have been saying in this last 15 minutes or so how. David Kerslake, this game has picked up in the second half. Perhaps he's been uh, advised as to uh, how he should play Sinton in this half. Gary Mabbott and Mickey Hazard on the bench for Spurs alongside Chris Day. Wednesday have Simon Coleman and Gordon Watson alongside keeper Lance Key. Teddy Sheringham for Spurs. With Justin Edinburgh wide on the left. Dimitrescu switches it for Kerslake to run onto on the right. Kerslake cuts in, he's avoided one. And wasn't sure if that was a, an attempt on goal or an intended cross for Nick Barnby. Either way, it's a goal kick for Sheffield Wednesday. Cole Campbell gets onto that, but it runs for a throw in to Sheffield Wednesday. And there's 34,000 here today at Hillsborough. In fact, 34,051 will be given as the uh, official attendance. 1,500 uh, or so more than saw the corresponding game last January. Sheringham for Spurs in the centre circle. Looks like Barnby made a run, but it's Kerslake. What we didn't see on our monitor screens, what you didn't see was the space that Dimitrescu ran into. Klinsman, gaining possession is Klinsman. And Brian Hill's blown up to something or other. And uh, the handball that's been given. Jürgen indicates that it was his shoulder and not his arm. <laughs> Students of the European game first saw Jürgen Klinsmann in uh, 81 for Stuttgart and in 94 he's at Tottenham. Adderton puts it back to Cressman who clears it upfield towards Mark Bright, it comes off Bright, he didn't gather it properly, and it's gone straight into touch for a throw-in. Yeah. 
Uh, in spite of all of the uh, indications we've heard, it's delighted to see that one of England's top referees, Brian Hill, has not yet brandished a yellow card, certainly not a red one. I'm sure on this first day of the new Premiership season, at other grounds and other matches, there have been cards galore, yellow and indeed red. David Kerslake to take the throw in for Spurs. It's back with Wednesday with Andy Sinton. Interchanging with John Sheridan. He chips it forward for a runner to go on to, but Walker to the edge of his area can gather. Sol Campbell for Spurs. That's gone straight to a Sheffield Wednesday man. They can start another move with Bart Williams just inside the area. Just Bart Williams again, and it's there. And Wednesday have equalised. 65 minutes on the clock. Sol Campbell tried to get the tackle in. He hit the deck. Bart Williams is in the clear and he's shot straight past Ian Walker to make the score Sheffield Wednesday 2, Spurs 2 see it again now Bart Williams got into the area Campbell lost his balance, he went down the ball was flicked back to him by Bright and Bart Williams the young man from Sierra Leone put it past Ian Walker for Bart Williams and then Petrescu you know, some of my colleagues in the press box at Hillsborough who are suggesting that was an own goal from my sock view I would give that one to Bart Williams you can see on your screens Trevor Francis and on his right, Richie Barker, his assistant manager at Sheffield Wednesday. Trevor Francis, Britain's first £1 million footballer. When he left Birmingham City for Nottingham Forest. And Brian Hill will not allow that free kick to be taken there. The foul was committed inside the centre circle. Once again, I reiterate what I've said, a number of my press colleagues are giving that second Sheffield Wednesday goal to a Colin Calder at own goal. Perhaps we'll get a chance to see another replay. Jürgen Klinsmann for Spurs. Plays it forward, looking for Anderton. It's cut out. Des Walker hoofs it forward. And Mark Bright wins the free kick. And Stuart Nethercott, Nethercott alleged to have pushed. Mark Bright, of course, teammate of Gary Lineker's back in their Leicester City days. Alan Smith was there as well at that time. Of course, Wednesday again. And Taylor having a hopeful shot. It came off the Spurs, man. It's wide to Bart Williams. Cross comes over. Walker gathers it. Well, with two goals up. Spurs have it all to do now to regain the advantage. Back to Sheridan. Another cop puts it into touch. So Campbell's definitely in trouble. And Ozzy Ardila's looking anxious. He has the option of bringing on Gary Mavitz. Gary Mabbitt you can see on your screens there in fact Mabbitt is tripping off and there's another shot from just outside the area over the bar Chris Bart Williams that man again Sol Campbell carrying the injury perhaps it occurred when he went down just ahead of Sheffield Wednesday's goal 
and indeed Roy Rayland, the Spurs kit man, is holding up the 23 card. The linesman trying to gather Brian Hill's attention. And so Campbell comes off as Gary Mabbott, the Spurs club captain, is about to make his entrance. Today making his 521st appearance for Tottenham Hotspur. So off goes Sol Campbell, on comes Mabsy. It's a straight swap, defender for defender. And although he may not have the band on, there's no doubting. Look at him there, look at him there. There's no doubt who is that captain on the field now. That's sharing a nod it forward for Barnby. Barnby's got a run, he's got an option. Barnby chips it and it's there! And Nick Barnby's restores first leads. What a lovely goal for Spurs. The 71st minute, and Nick Barnby puts it past Pressman's right hand into the far post, and Spurs have regained their lead. See it again, Barnby was given a clear run, one-on-one, -on -one. Des Walker went one way, and Barnby, no mistake, he had the option of playing in Klinsman, but Nick Barnby decided I'm going for goal, and he did. And it's Wednesday 2, Spurs 3 at Hillsborough. Trevor Francis once again is going to have to ask his defenders where they were, but Spurs fans won't be too bothered about that. And it's Wednesday again, the cross comes over looking for David Hurst, but put behind for the corner. Stuart Nethercock. And Gary Mabbott, a central defensive partnership now. Mark Williams' is corner. Calderwood nods it. Clear, but he was pushed, and that would be a free kick to Spurs. And Mark Bright, with a crucial haircut. Formerly with Port Vale and Leicester City and Crystal Palace, he came to Wednesday from Palace in September of 92. 32 years of age, Mark Bright. Allerton gets underneath that, but it's Spurs in possession once again. Barnby inside the area gets across. Klinsman! And it's saved by Gressman. It was a lovely move from Spurs. It round, finished with Klinsman in a goal scoring opportunity. The keeper did well. Klinsman could be forgiven for thinking he scored his first goal for Spurs then. Klinsman plays it back. It's Barnby looking round him. Klinsman finds Sheringham with Kerslake pushing forward. Kerslake goes to the 1 2 with Barnby. Kerslake gets the crossover. It's nodded out by Walker and Taylor. Being pressured by Anderton. Anderton wins it back for Spurs. Kerslake and Klinsman comes in on it, but it's wide of Pressman's left hand post. Klinsman has a smile on his face, almost from ear to ear. He is enjoying this. It worries him not that he's on, not on the score sheet at this time. Three goals to the good. As far as Spurs are concerned, Sheringham, Anderton, Barnby. Sheffield Wednesday 2, Spurs 3 at Hillsborough. The opening day of the 94-95 Carling Premiership season. Sinton playing it forth for Mark Bright. It's forced out by Spurs. But John Sheridan picks it up again for Wednesday. Des Walker moving forward. Bart Williams back to his captain, Des Walker. The former Nottingham Forest man. The man whose own goal won Spurs the 1991 Cup final. And in your picture, the man who held the cup aloft on that day, Gary Mabbott. Direct free kick being signalled by Brian Hill. It was for obstruction by Teddy Sheringham. Sheridan takes it quickly. It's not a forward, but that's safe for Kerslake to play out. And 
Jones, Darren Anderson, the judge to have fouled Ian Nolan. Nolan will take it. Right footed, chipping it forward, aiming it at Bright, who's gone down. Dan Petrescu with his left foot gets the cross over, looking for Mark Bright. Bright nods it forward. Chris Bart Williams plays it back for Ian Taylor. And it's wide of Ian Walker's right hand post. And Ian Taylor, the new signing, 26 year old from Port Vale. causes damage only to an advertising holding not to Ian Walker's net so the Wednesday fans rise as Mark Bright comes off to be replaced by Gordon Watson born in the Sid Cup played formerly for Charlton Athletic joined Wednesday in 1991 And Eddie Dimitrescu, who look, has been looking a bit tired the last few minutes, is going to come off. Mickey Hazard to replace him. So Dimitrescu giving away to the Spurs fans. And the uh, newly named Presto stand, of course, formerly the, uh, the infamous Lepping Lanes end where the tragedy occurred here. And that's dreadful semi-final of the FA Cup a few years ago. So it's Mickey Hazard in the midfield for Spurs. Who's been so looking forward to the start of the new season as Mickey. And have the Spurs fans that noticed that Mickey Hazard as always favouring the long sleeve shirt and he has a long sleeve version of the new Spurs chain strip everyone else in the short sleeve version and there's Hazard on the ball, long sleeves and all looks for Klinsman, it's too strong and Des Walker will play that back to Kevin Pressman 31 and a half, 32 minutes of the second half played Spurs leading Sheffield Wednesday by three goals to two at Hillsborough. Sinton. Eludes Sheringham and Luz Hazard. Finds Taylor. Stuart Nethercott plays it out for Spurs, but Spurs lucky to regain possession. So who are going to be the size to watch this season in the Premiership? Some say Man United, some say Arsenal, some say Liverpool. Spurs fans today will be saying Tottenham, Tottenham. Gary Mabbott. His central defence partnership, Stuart Nethercott. Darren Anson plays Kerslake back in. Walker will get in there first. Ball quickly returned by Steve Perryman for Spurs to take a quick throw in. Back with Kerslake. Finds Mickey Hazard, switches it wide to Justin Edinburgh. Edinburgh attacks Bart Williams but lays it back to Hazard. Hazard back heels it to Edinburgh. Edinburgh chance to switch it to his right foot, chips the cross over, finds Sheringham. Sheringham looks for Klinsman, but it's cleared. Atherton clears it for Wednesday, finds Bart Williams as Edinburgh slips over. It's Petrescu, the Romanian. Mabbott plays that into touch. It's an advertising hoarding. And Atherton, yet another of Francis's new signings, takes the throw in. Chris Foyle ball from Bart Williams finds Ian Nolan on the left. Ian Nolan looking for Gordon Watson, blonde haired, strong man. And Sherryham dispossesses right back on his goal line, plays it back to Walker, who has to play it up first time, finds Klinsman. And Klinsman with to Barmby. Barmby is fouled, but referee plays the advantage. 
But now it's run back to Wednesday. Watson for sharing them. Petrescu with Hazard in attendance for Taylor Flex forward. The cross comes over from Bart Williams. Hurst is looking for it. Sinton. Sheridan looking for Hurst again. Hurst turns. And Nethercott gets his foot in. That will be a corner. A good saving tackle from Stuart Nethercott. The 21-year-old defender from Chadwell Heath. In fact, the referee has given the goal kick. Must have come off of David Hurst. Ian Walker. Klinsman nods it forward. Whistle goes. And Spurs win the free kick. For the foul on Jurgen Klinsman. Number 18 on his shirt, his name across the back. How many reproductions have we seen along those of them, Tottenham High Roads and the surrounding areas in the last couple of weeks? Mickey Hazard. Colin Calderwood breaks forward. All the Spurs players to certainly take the Mickey out of the home supporters. <laughs> One thinks that was rehearsed. But Spurs get their fourth goal and Jurgen Klinsmann is on the score sheet. 82nd minute on the clock here at Hillsborough. Look at that, a diving header. But all points must be given to Darren Adelson who did so well to set up that opportunity for Jurgen Klinsmann. And the Spurs fans, and I guess the management will be delighted to see the German already potted his first goal for Spurs first of many one hopes Gary Mabbott in control in defence of, in defense of Spurs wins the free kick which Ian Walker will take so with about seven and a half minutes left on the clock. Spurs lead Sheffield Wednesday by four goals to two at Hillsborough. And if they win them, Spurs will have three points today. The six-point deduction that Spurs have had imposed on them come off at the end of the season. There'll be no minor situations for Spurs this season. disgust of the Spurs defence and it was David Hurst with an absolute cracker one has to say Cross came over nodded back by Ian Taylor and on the volley on the full just on the edge of the area David Hurst scores an absolute cracker the 83rd minute well seven goals we've seen at Hillsborough this afternoon still another six and a half minutes to go and Klinsman is down having been it's been a bad clash of heads there's blood pouring from Jürgen Klinsman's head and indeed his mouth this looks very serious they're calling for a stretcher Jürgen Klinsmann looks as if he has lost consciousness. It's a very nasty, nasty accident. Doctors are on, ambulance men are on. Roy Rayland has told Colin Calderwood to seek instruction. Jürgen Klinsmann looked to me to be unconscious. There was blood coming either from the side of his hands or from his mouth. He's being helped onto a stretcher. One hates to say it, but it looks very, very nasty. He's being given oxygen. that ball 
there was a clash of heads and Brian Hill reached out to him whilst all that went on Des Walker has had his head plastered which proves it was heads and no suspicion of elbows Spurs with 10 men now Four, three and a half minutes left on the clock plus the time that Brian Hill will add on for that stoppage of course Spurs leading by four goals to three Walker being booed by the Spurs fans and that's not really very fair it was an accident Bart Williams plays it forward Mabbott yanks it away Sheridan plays it forward and Walker gets out and punches it into touch just to make sure it was nicked away from Gordon Watson Watson gets the crossover looking for Taylor Taylor's under it but heads over the bar much to his frustration my watch says uh, two and three quarter minutes to go Walker's goal kick goes straight to Dan Petrescu finds John Sheridan in the centre of the park and it's switched to the left to Ian Nolan Sintum has Anderson shadowing plays it back to uh, Atherton there's Walker in the centre circle Petrescu Atherton for Wednesday coming forward chips it forward Bart Williams goes for the 1-2 he's let it go Petrescu has it and Bart Williams clear through with Walker Walker gets out and gathers it brilliantly and full points to Ian Walker and he was found and he was required to do his best he was able to do it the Spurs who finished last season in 15th in the Premiership Wednesday in 7th Spurs starting this or ending this first game of the season with Sol Campbell injured Jurgen Klinsmann injured and playing out time with 10 men 4-3 ahead David Kerslake waxed that into not even into touch, it doesn't go, but Mickey Hazard gathers it. And he finds touch. Throwing to be taken by Des Walker. Des Walker is a kid, of course, first fan. Always enjoys being back at White Hart Lane. Great friend of the Spurs players as well, many of them. Pressman out of his area to play it forward. Half a minute left of normal time Anderton Kerslake taking advantage of his interception back to Calderwood that would be a throw into Spurs which Spurs will be in no hurry to take David Kerslake takes the throw to Darren Anderton shields it, plays it back to Kerslake goes like inside to Barmby Barmby plays it wide and far to Justin Edinburgh out on the left Sheringham plays it back to Mickey Hazard and Hazard all the way back to Ian Walker Walker's outside of his area finds Nethercott Nethercott back to Walker Bash it away but it's gone straight to Dan Petrescu Petrescu, a long one forward, looking for Gordon Watson, Nethercott's underneath it, gets his head to it, Justin Edera picks up the ball, turns, plays it forward. And Anderton, dispossessing Taylor, Anderton brings it up for Spurs, we're in stoppage time. He's got Barbie inside him, but Darren Anderson turns back, he plays a crossfield ball, it's gone straight to Taylor, 
come off Taylor's foot and Sinton can come forward number 15 on his back Petrescu sliding tackle Barnby no nope, it doesn't win it Taylor still has it and still with Wednesday Atherton wide to Nolan over a minute extra played Nolan on the left for Wednesday right footed cross straight to Ian Walker's arms Spurs fans behind Ian Walker's goal give a mighty cheer of relief and Brian Hill looking at his watch Stuart Nethercott nods it forward. Bit of head tennis with Des Walker. Nethercott again. This time it's defeat. And it's John Sheridan for Wednesday with Chris Bart Williams on his outside. Bart Williams puts a deep cross in. So deep and straight over Ian Walker's bar into the crowd behind the goal. It'll be a goal kick and time to use up for Spurs. Ozzy Ardida's pondering the outcome of this game. Sweet and sour injuries for Ozzy Ardiles, but 4-3 ahead. Two and a half minutes of stoppage time having been played by Brian Hill. Stuart Nethercott puts it into touch. And the throwing taken quickly by Ian Nolan. John Sheridan switches it to Bart Williams. Bart Williams inside. There's a one-two with Petrescu, Bart Williams again, Hazard tries to close him down, and the cross comes in, but Ian Walker's equal to it. We're over three minutes time extra time played, stoppage time being played and Spurs to that possession with Teddy Sheringham but that is it, Brian Hill's blown the whistle and the opening day of the 94-95 Carling Premiership ends at Hillsborough with the final score of Tottenham Hotspur 4 Sheffield Wednesday 3, the home side going down Spurs scorers Sheringham Anderton Anderton Barnby and Klinsman and Spurs salute their travelling supporters but they'll all be anxious to get back to the dressing room to check on the condition of Jürgen Klinsman who will stretch it off with about six or seven minutes to go after a 